Good morning. I got up so early this morning, it's ridiculous. I like it though. You, know, you get a lot of things done, you get a good start. Alright, so yesterday I talked about this guy Lauterbach, the health minister of Germany, where he on national TV admitted that people were actually injured by the tea. I think I had a late reaction to this because I was feeling so good about this. And I think I know why, you know, because I had my doubts in the past for the last two years. You know, will they be able to hide this stuff? The crime of the century. They will get away with it, you know. Nothing will happen. You know, I had my doubts. But it's coming out, of course. Uh, it's too big, you see. Right, so I was very pleased with this. Right. Yeah, this it's very early for me. So see if I can talk even. All right. Uh, I have two stories from Australia and one from the United States. Australia first. Uh, there's this old Australian TV show called Neighbors. Uh, very popular apparently in Australia and uh, also in the UK, right? Kylie Minogue came from that show, that's what I heard. A friend of mine told me this, right? Now they are doing some sort of reunion thing, right? This is a very old TV show. And the male star of the show called he was, the actor's name is Ian Smith. He was live on the morning show in Australia. Right? And the female star was supposed to be there with him, but she wasn't, right? It was live, and the TV host lady asked uh, about her, and this guy, Ian Smith, you know what he said? He said, no, she couldn't make it. Uh, she called me in the car on the way over and she had a violently bad reaction to her last cup of tea. That's what he said, live. Right. <laughs> right. I also saw this recruitment commercial for the Australian Army. I'll post a link to this. Okay, so they promoted the Australian Army. Right, so how do you do this? Well, maybe, you know, somebody running the obstacle course, sweating, getting fit, something, you know, somebody in camouflage, you know, so, yeah, that's what, that's what I would expect from a commercial for the army. Now, this is terrible stuff. I saw it. The first thing you see is uh, boots, military boots. Right? And then you see this uh, drill. They are drilling, fighting protesters. That's what you see. Protesters, right? And they say this, they say uh, po population protection training, uh, realistic scenarios against realistic role players, maintaining stability, protecting our people. And there's a shepherd dog, I, wow. So this is what they promote, join the army and fight the protesters. It's so awful, this stuff. Right. Uh, now, this is from the, the United States. Uh, CNN, during a recent CNN interview, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer was there. I remember this lady. She was one of the worst governors in the United States during the lockdowns. And she was asked about the lockdowns and what they did. And, you know, this is, this is what she said. You know, there were moments where, you know, we had to make some decisions that in retrospect don't make a lot of sense, right? If you went to the hardware store, you could go to the hardware store, 
but we didn't want people to be congregating around the garden supplies. People said, oh, she's outlawed seeds. It was February in Michigan and nobody was planting anyway. She doesn't know anything about growing food, apparently. In February, that's when you get them. Oh, you know, the seeds. Exactly. That's the month. Right. Okay, and then she said, but that being said, some of those policies, I look back and think maybe that was a little more than what we needed to do. No, this is what I want to happen to this lady. I, I don't like this lady at all. She should be put somewhere, you know, in nature, alone, somewhere, and she should learn how to survive on her own. You know, some island or something. That's my suggestion. She's, she's still the governor after what she did. She's still there. No, it's wrong. That's what it is. It's just wrong that this lady is getting away with it. All right. Be good.